Arthur, take your mind off. Well, at least he's back. Thank you for getting him out, Arthur. Of course, someone had to. I cannot... I cannot get over Miss Roche. She's dead. Well, I'm glad she shot her. She deserved it. And she took on an everlasting like her anyway. And she betrayed us. You don't know that. She told us. She was in love. She would have said anything. Who knows what she did or didn't do. She had to go. Ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Hmm. Just a waste of time.
Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? What reason you got to stick around at this point? It's done. I don't see no way out of any of this. What about loyalty? That's long been broken. But what are you gonna do? I gotta see this through. Try and make some of it right. There was a code we had. Gotta still mean something. Sure. I know, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. We've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, all right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right, let me know when you're ready. Got it? Ready when you are. There's good. Lower it down. I'm ready, come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Near okay, good. Grab the other one. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. 
We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. This ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. This old dust got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. You know, I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks, and for what exactly? For, for a silly idea. It don't even exist. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You need cash. You got a family. Well, I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. 
I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I am starting to see things clearly now. And I ain't being taken for a fool no more. Now get out of here. Okay, boy. Friendship. Perhaps he means well. Hello? Come in. sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail, apparently awaiting death. <sighs> um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm, I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. 
For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you, I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know? If that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan, but don't feel like you have to. Let's go! Why are you riding off like that? Now I was saying, it's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Let's go. We can rest when we get there. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now. And I ain't sure there's any going back this point. So why do you stay? I'd have been dead by 16 if it weren't for him. He never gave up on me. It ain't something that's easy to walk away from. And, sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here.
looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. Back to what I was talking about. It ain't something that's easy to walk away from. And he's got all my money. It sounds like you have a lot to work out in your own mind. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. Eagle Flies got caught up in there. Now he's in jail. Sadly, Eagle Flies was ready to fight. I'm sure Charles will find a way to help him, but I wanted you to know the situation. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You got no reason to thank me. So, conditions are that bad on the reservation? Yes. This conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues to worsen. Many of the elders are sick, and the young feel that any compromise is an admittance of defeat. Yeah, compromise ain't an eat. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, compromise ain't an easy thing to learn. I felt like that once, too. I was there 20 years ago for all the fighting, and I saw where it led. But my people come to me for answers. And I have none. I cannot even guide my own son. It is hard to tell someone who is being treated unfairly not to fight back. Dutch used to tell me that revenge was a fool's game. Now... Feels like he's developed a compulsion for him. Any action without violence is difficult, especially when my son is involved. But when the intent becomes violence, that's when the cycle begins again. <laughs> I've been in that cycle my whole life. And that feller, Monroe, how you know him? Captain Monroe was reassigned here from a regiment in the north. Apparently, the news of our conflict has spread all the way to Washington. He's a good man. He wants to help. Well, I guess that's something, at least. The Army aren't all bad men. Just as my people aren't all good. But this Colonel Favors, he walks an old line. He's obstinate, and he hates Monroe. I just hope between us we can work this out. Just up ahead. Oh, what's happened? No, it can't be. Find a Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you.
Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. There's some whiskey here. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. Any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back?
Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Sadie. You okay? Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I 
saw Colm swing, I... I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me. And to my husband? Like, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you can help me with. Sure. You, me, and John. This whole thing is pretty much done, but Dutch still has our money hidden away, so... But how do you mean? When the time comes, just be what ready. What do you mean? I mean, if we can get out of here with money, <laughs> you and me, we ain't... We're more ghosts than people. And none of that loyalty matters. Jesus. Okay. I'm with you. Well, then you got yourself a gun. What's left of one? Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> Hey. Hey. What's going on? I think there's a bunch of them in there, mostly drunk. One of them is a fat fella with a beard. Him? He's mine. Sure. How are we doing this? We're just going in. <clears throat> okay, then. It's a big ranch. Run down, lots of folk there, but spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay, so no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now come on. I know that woman. She was with Dutch.
He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm. I ain't even got that. You know, you're a confusing man, but you might just be the best friend I got, Arthur. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur.
nice and easy. No, no, no.
So, or is it an Easter? We're fine. We're fine. As long as it doesn't pick up, we're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you manage to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh, here's one. Company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Put the weapon down, please. They've given no cause. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. You've provoked them, Mr. Morgan. Oh, stay back. They ain't provoked. Is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. 
whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. <sighs> what a way to... Literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. Well, just checking this equipment, if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves, and now it's hydrophobia. I've got hydrophobia phobia. You're a collector of pets. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self-defense. I'll be some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. The only trophy I need is a photograph, and I hope it catches on. Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place, and neither do wolves. <laughs> Thank you again. Very well. Okay, boy. Yeah.
Yeah, welcome. Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Let me see what's available. Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. Worth a shot. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. You thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. Smart addition. Dangerous. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Sold my old blunderbuss to a bounty hunter last week. <laughs> that boy's out looking to get someone, that's for sure. Hey, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt. Your pick. Essential, I reckon. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving.
Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? You'll be very pleased with this. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. Oh, hell, mister, you look like you've been on whiskey no stew. My friend! You there! Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child! I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> Okay. Good shot. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Now is as good a time as any. There it goes! <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. Bravo! <laughs> 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 
Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Uh, for all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. You are too much. Nope, my sweet. Last call. Settle up. Don't dawdle. Get what you need and go. No more nonsense from you. Here's the catalog. Being the main store in town, people come to depend on you. All right. That's done. I get all kinds of coots come in here. That's something. Okay then. All yours. Nice. Seem to have your eye on that. You like the look of that one, huh? Taking a shine to that, huh?
That's mighty popular these days. Seem a bit taken with that. I'll let you look around some more. Well, for you, I'll stay open a touch longer. Shoot you. I wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. Hello again. Never too soon, huh? Seems everyone with a rifle did hunt these of late.
Cooper drops a present, you're going to clean it up. Oh. How are you doing? Up. Look at me. Tough times indeed. <laughs> 